Now, German firearms were also marked on the right buttstock with property marks. Anytime you see a German firearm from World War II, look on that area, and you'll see something that looks like this. That L right there indicates that that particular rifle was issued to the Luftwaffe. If it's an H, it was Army. If it was M, it was Navy. Now getting back to that carbine, the Gewehr 3340 is a carbine that they decided they needed. The Germans were a little bit indecisive about the use of carabiner or carbine and Gewehr, which meant rifle. For some reason they call this a rifle when in reality it was a carbine. Of course they call the rifle a carbine. So whether they did this to throw the Allies off, we don't know. Because I know the Germans couldn't have been that confused. <laughs> This particular rifle was made from 1940 to 1942 in Czechoslovakia. When Germany overran Czechoslovakia and any other country for that matter, they took over their armament industries, used them for their own purposes. This rifle was actually made by Czechoslovakia in 1933, but the Germans converted it for use for their own purposes. It was issued to the Gebirgstruppen. Those were the famed Alpine or mountain troops that the Germans had. One of the unique features about this rifle is this metal plate right here. The reason this metal plate is here is this rifle was actually designed to be used as a climbing stick. The, the Germans would actually grasp it by the muzzle and use it as a climbing stick or a climbing aid. So they reinforced the stock for that purpose. It has all the other traditional uh, Mauser features. All of the German rifles were chambered in the 7.92 by 57 Mauser cartridge. That's commonly in the United States called the 8 millimeter Mauser. They are one and the same cartridge, but the technical description is 7.92 by 57. The markings on this particular rifle are as such. Again, you'll see some of the designations. DOT met the Braun factory in Czechoslovakia. Obviously, 1942 is the date of manufacture. We have the model number down here, Gewehr, or G3340. And then over here, we see the serial number, 851C. Now, the Germans used a rather unique numbering system. What they would do at the beginning of the year is they would start with serial number one. They would go up to 9,999, and then they would start over again with serial number one. But they would add a suffix to that serial number, A. So. Every time you see a letter here, it indicates the, what uh, uh, 10,000 series of rifles were made. So the serial number always has a letter unless it was in the first 10,000 rifles made. <laughs>